Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on We Are Hotline. And uh, I'm so excited to be on the line right now with a fabulous woman. Um, she is a uh, inspiration to so many, and she's uh, launching her book called I Am Over the Wall. Please welcome author Fatima Gold. How are you doing today, Thanks. Fatima? I'm great. Thank you very much, Nikki. I'm glad to be here with you to uh, promote my book, Over the Wall, and and looking forward to speaking with you today. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. So uh, let's get to it. Tell us a little bit about um, how you got started writing the book. What's your background? Uh, So I am Canadian-born, and my parents are from Barbados. And how I got started writing the book Mm -hmm. So one day I was just sitting down thinking, you know, I've been through some stuff in my life and how great it would be to share with other women, other people, other single parents uh, what it is to get over the walls of the life that you face or where you're stuck with your finances, relationships, raising your children. And I thought, you know, I got some pretty good nuggets over the years. I would really like to share that with people. But I just wasn't mm-hmm. quite sure how to go about it. But, you yes. know, the universe would have it such that I would pitch the story to someone and they said, oh, that's a really good idea. And then mm-hmm. as I started to share about my idea, people showed up. And the right people wow. showed up to put it together. Awesome, awesome. Who are those people that came? Who, who were the helpers that uh, located you? <laughs> One of my helper was uh, Audrey Lindinsky, who is also my business partner in Team Synergy, Simone yes. Vitalero, and Alana Carr. Those were, the, my, yeah. those, were my, those were my soul sisters, my mind, my body, and my soul. <laughs> and I pitched okay. the idea to um, a person that was in a course with me called Jody Aberdeen. And he mm-hmm. said, you know what, that sounds like a really good idea. Um, I think you should connect with Audrey. And Alana said, you should connect with Audrey. So I connected with Audrey, and here we are. Beautiful, beautiful. And it's, it's amazing how um, w- once you're – alignment uh, happens with your divine purpose. It's amazing how everything happens so expeditiously. And, uh, and I saw uh, when you um, were on the, the Nikki Clark Show stage a few weeks back how you work so well together. So it's, it's really um, a beautiful soul connection. So tell us yes. a little bit about the book and uh, w- what the intention is for the reader. So, you know, imagine yourself in the future, right, like a couple months from now or half a year from now, and there is a million people reading this book, being encouraged to get over the walls of their life, like they're sitting in their living room uh, with a nice hot cup of tea or they're lying in bed just before they go to sleep, and they've just come to a place where they say, you know, I've had enough of what it is that I'm going through with my relationship, my finance, uh, family Mm -hmm. members, colleagues, whatever area of life that they Mm -hmm. are, you know, reach that wall with. And they just want some little nuggets to get over the wall. And then they just pick up the book and they start reading it. What they're going to see is they're going to find themselves in me in the book. And that's wow. what's so great about it. it. It touches and moves and inspires people at large for whatever it is that they're going through. And so, you know, that's what my goal is, to be hope in human form, to let people know that there's hope at any time, at any, anywhere, at any age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's, um, it's amazing how you use the analogy of the wall because um, very often the idea that the wall represents um, all our obstacles, all our hurdles, and, and usually when it comes to success, it's usually fear that stops us. So the fear is the wall. But once you can climb over that, then um, climb over the unknown, and, and there's so much um, uh, richness and blessings waiting for you on the other side. So it, was that the idea of the title? Yes, and that, the, that was definitely the idea of the title because every time I spoke and described what it is that I wanted the purpose of the book for, I would hit my hand, my two hands together and saying, you know, when you hit the walls of life. And so mm-hmm. just organically, uh, Audrey said, that's the name of the book, Over the Wall. Mm-hmm. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. And I am over the wall is a declaration of you getting mm. over the wall, doing whatever it takes to either bust through the wall or climb up and look over and see a life that, you know, the life that you want, the life that you're going to still take those steps and those actions to get that life that you want by doing it afraid. And that's ultimately the definition of courage. Absolutely. Absolutely. So beyond fear, what is one other area that keeps people from climbing over the wall that you identify in the book? Uh, they're having a renewed mindset and also having faith. The lack of faith helps us to, like, ingest that fear and help mm-hmm. us to help that fear just grow and manifest and stop us. And I found that once my faith was in and elevated, I was able to lift myself higher and higher and higher so I can see over the wall to get over to get to the next to the next area of the life, the next goal, the next vision. So I would say, you know, the lack of faith and what that's in it propels you forward. All right. Beautiful. Tell me, how have you been transformed by uh, releasing this book? Wow, that is a good question. I have been transformed in so many ways because, you know, the beginning of the book talks about my transition from living here to going to Barbados to be raised by my grandmother to coming back. And that alone is a journey of itself to come to some place where you know no one. And it's just my mom and a few family members. And that alone, I know there's so many West Indians whose parents have migrated to Canada, the U.S., or England that face the same hurdle. And it got me complete with that in that I realized it's not that my mother did something to me, but she did something for me. She sent me to Mm -hmm. a place where I would be loved and taken care of, and then she brought me back to be with her when she was able to provide that financial support, and she had a wealth of people around her because it takes a village to raise a child, right? That that Mm -hmm. infrastructure to help her continue to raise me. So that was one of the things that, that helped me in writing the book to see that crystal clear. Yes, yes, amazing. Well, uh, a book is always um, a catharsis of uh, emotions, and uh, you know, sometimes as you're releasing it, there's a little bit of vulnerability because you're not sure how people are going to receive it. But um, over the wall of, of, of the release of the book, uh, it's, it's just a wonderful birthing and, and how people are coming around you right now. I, I see uh, the rejoicing uh, on social media of this book, and I know people are going to just, I uh, absolutely love it, and I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my copy. And I know you have a book launch coming up. Can you talk about that? Yes, yeah, so the book launch is going to be Thursday, March the 30th at the Glen Aaron Inn in Mississauga from 6 mm-hmm. to 9 p.m. And then at 9 to 11, we're going to have an old school jam so people can come out and, you know, shake their legs to a couple of old tunes and have a lot of fun with us. There will be uh, giveaways. There will be uh, book signing. There will be hors d'oeuvres and much, much more. Beautiful. And, and how much are the tickets to come and support you? The tickets are $35, and you can get 35. those online mm-hmm. or at the door. Okay. And uh, how can people get a copy of the book? So the book is going to be online, and it's going to be at www.iamoverthewall.com. So I am overthewall.com. Okay, excellent. Well, it's been um, a pleasure chatting with you, and I'm, I'm really excited about Thursday. Uh, I've, I've dusted off my dancing shoes uh, to celebrate with you with, um, you know, the best of us, and uh, I, I'm really, really uh, proud of uh, your achievement. So congratulations again on this um, amazing book. And uh, we look forward to many more. So uh, you've been listening to Fatima Gold, our very special guest. She's the author of Over the Wall. And uh, if you missed the earlier part of the interview, you don't have to worry. We're going to be replaying the interview throughout the week, Monday to Friday, uh, 11 a.m. to noon on We Are Hotline. So thank you very much, Fatima. Uh, Excited to see you soon. And uh, uh, all the best today. God bless. And I... 
And I want to thank you, too, uh, for having me on the show and for supporting me. And uh, Team Synergy also thanks you for your loving support and having us on the show. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I look forward to uh, having many, many more occasions spent together. Thank you all for your generous listening. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Fatima Gold, God bless. God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.